today's video, I'm gonna show you how the new iOS 16 lock screen looks on the iPhone SE 3, which has an older design, a 4.7 inch display with thicker bezels and a home button with Touch ID. But before we get started with the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy Apple content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. This video is sponsored by SetApp, an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you'd like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a free trial when you use the link listed down below in the description. So starting off, I want to share that I couldn't edit the lock screen directly on the lock screen. I was only able to create new ones when setting a new photo as a lock screen photo by going to the wallpaper settings or when creating a new focus and choosing its lock screen. But it's also important to consider that this is a beta version and things can change until the final release. But talking specifically about the new iOS 16 lock screen, it's really easy to configure. You only need to choose a photo that you want to use as the wallpaper and choose this photo as the wallpaper. And then you can choose the clock's font and color. The nice thing is that you can choose pretty much any color that you want. You can also personalize the information showing on top of the clock and the suggestions are calendar, clock, fitness, reminders, stocks, and I really like the option to show the next calendar event or alarm. The new iOS 16 lock screen allows the user to add widgets to the lock screen and this is probably the coolest part. Each widget has different size options for the user to choose from that will show more or less information depending on what you want. And I think it's extremely convenient to have the calendar and the next events, the weather, and things like the Apple Watch rings showing up right there on the lock screen iOS 16 also brings live activities to the lock screen and unfortunately this isn't available yet so I wasn't able to test it. It's coming in an update later this year but basically the live activities will allow you to check the score of a game or track the progress of your food delivery without the need to unlock your device. Another feature that I believe that many users are excited to try is the focus because now you can connect your lock screen to your focus and choose how you want to use your iPhone in the moment. For example, you can set up a focus for work and have your work lock screen showing with widgets related to your work like your calendar, your next meeting, and things like that. Now, when I created the focus filter, I was a little bit frustrated because the correct lock screen was not showing all of the times. Um, when I was using the work focus, it worked great, but there was one time where I was trying to set up my personal focus and I only got a blank lock screen. Now, whenever you create a new lock screen, there are several suggestions by Apple. Um, there is the weather and astronomy lock screens. You can also choose between emoji, collections, color. There are several ways for you to personalize your lock screen at the moment. In my experience, the new iOS is still a little bit buggy, of course. As I mentioned earlier, this is a beta version, so it is normal for this to happen. And that is also why I don't recommend you to try the beta versions on your personal devices. For example, I had that issue with the focus mode, the correct lock screen wouldn't show up, I was getting a black lock screen with no wallpaper. Also, I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, but I couldn't edit the lock screen right on the lock screen. I had to unlock the iPhone and create one on the settings, photos app, or focus. 
but I'm aware that this could be an iPhone SE limitation as well. We will see when Apple release the final version. Overall, I do love the new lock screen and it's nice to see Apple giving the users the ability to personalize the iPhone according to their preferences. So this is how the new iOS 16 lock screen looks on the iPhone SE 3. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments because I would love to know. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.